हाँ मैंने ने जाके एंड वेलकम टू एंजॉय दैट डेवलपमेंट सीरीज दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट टू शो हाउ टू जिन डेट रैंडम कलर आई विल जिन डेट रैंडम कलर बाय क्लिकिंग बटन वेन एवर बटन इज क्लिक इट विल जिन डेट अ रैंडम कलर यू मे डू इट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मे नीड टू शो ईट लिस्ट आइटम विथ डिफरेंट रैंडमली जनरेटेड कलर्स Let's start working. Open and go to Studio. Click New Project. Select Empty Views Activity. Click Next. Type the name of project. You can give any name. Choose Language Java. Select Minimum SDK version and click Finish. Okay, our project is now created. First of all, we need to design a simple UI. Let's open activity named Hotel Java file and replace constraints layout with relative layout. To show title on top, we need the text view with width and height wrap content. Add style as headline median. Now add text to text view. That is random color generator. The text view will look better in center horizontal. So let's do it. And we also need to give a little margin from top. To show random region perfect color, we have created view with width 250 dp and height 250 dp. Now assign an ID. To access that view inside main activity class, to show that view in center of screen, we will do layout center in parent row. Now we need to set a temporary background. You may give any color. Now we need to create a button that we will click to generate a random color. With width match color and height add content. Now assign an ID. to that button to access that button inside main activity class now assign minimum height to the button as 60 dp and make that button in bottom bottom of the screen and also give it coordinates 8 dp we also need to add text to that button let's say it generate random color and Uh, and give a little margin to that button. Okay, instead of giving margin, we will create padding in root layout. That is 10 dp. We don't need corner radius for the button. Okay, our UI part is now done. Now let's start implementing it. Declaring view by private view, and let's say it. Generative color view. The access specifier is private since we don't need to access that view outside of this class. Let's initialize it on create equal to find view by id r dot id dot generated color view. Similarly, we need to declare that button a private material button and let's say it generate color button. And now we need to initialize it in our create function. Generate color button equal to find view by id r dot id dot generate color button. Now we have initialized our views. Now we need to set on click listener on generate color button. Set on click listener new view dot on click listener to generate a random color. We are going to create a new function, private void generate random color. This specifier is private because we don't need to access that function outside of this class. Now we are going to call that function inside click listener of generate color button. Now we will create an instance of our class name random, which will be used to generate. Random color, random. Name it as random equal to new random. 
Creating a variable of type integer with name color. Assign it with color dot RGB. RGB function requires three parameters to accept integer values of red, green, and blue colors. Value of each color is ranged from 0 to 255. To generate random color, we will pass each parameter as random dot next int and pass the value 256, 256. So value will be from 0 to 255. So we need to pass each parameter as random dot next int with value 256. I think we have passed four, four parameters instead of three. Let's remove first parameter that is 255. Now we need to set that color as background color to the view. Generated color view dot set background color pass color as parameter. Our code is now completed. Now run the project on an emulator for real device for testing. Now click button. To check if it is generating random colors. Okay, the app is now working fine. It is generating random color whenever the button is clicked. 